All right, good day and welcome to another exciting video tutorial from the Craig's Action site. Okay, maybe just a little bit exciting, but hopefully there's something informative for you. And hopefully I can get through this video without screwing it up again. Lightroom has the capability now to make use of uh, actions by virtue of using droplets. Uh, that's accessing droplets you create in Photoshop. Where you do all of your uh, adjustments for your image project. Uh, in this case, we've got a portrait session at a winery. You can do your different uh, color, global color adjustments, uh, dealing with noise, various issues like that, getting it all set for output. You still want to make use of the techniques in Photoshop to prep your images for your client. Uh, and with the Craig's Actions Production Assistance, you can do actually your complete workflow, all of your selective softening, creative color adjustments, edge vignetting, and prepping it for output to uh, your backup PSD, your print image ready to go to the lab, and your low-res screen image ready to show your client. So very powerful workflows. And I'm going to show you how you can tie those into uh, Lightroom. If you go to the top menu in Lightroom and you go under File, and just go right next to it over to Preferences, and we'll have a look there, you'll see that you've got a number of options. If we look under our presets, right at the bottom here, whether you're working with Mac or PC, this will all be the same. It might look a little different, but the process is the same. So we're going to look in our Lightroom Presets folder, and you can see that there's all these different folders that Lightroom makes use of. Export actions, export presets, user presets, those are things we're going to start playing with. So again, these ones within Lightroom, we're going to set up a couple of processes for there uh, right now. So let's go into Photoshop, and we have our image all set here. You just need something open. The production assistant's uh, portrait actions, uh, because we've got all of our basic adjustments that we've done and looked after within Lightroom, within these ones, we've got the variations for softness and then five levels of exposure adjustment. We could still choose to make this image lighter or darker, even though it's technically correctly exposed now, uh, or will be once it goes through Lightroom. We can still choose to make it a little lighter or a little darker. In this case, we'll just create an action uh, droplet that will work with our fourth level of softness and keep our exposure the same. So we're going to come in under File, Automate. There we go. File, Automate, Create Droplet. Sorry if you got a little dizzy there. And it comes up with this dialog box, very similar to a batch if you've created one of those before. So we were going to select our, within the portrait set, the Production Assistant Portrait. We're going to select our Super Soft N, which means N for normal exposure. We're going to have these three dialog boxes checked, including subfolders, not stopping for file open uh, dialogs or color profile issues. And we're going to have it as save and close. The reason we have that is that the save destinations are already programmed into those production assistant workflows. That's in a separate video, but if you've got these set up on your system, that's the exciting part, because that part is already done. Down here, save, or excuse me, log the errors to file, leaving that on your desktop. I just leave that as the default setting, so it'll continually overwrite itself. We need to save this droplet somewhere, uh, so we're going to choose. I'll just put it on my desktop, and again, we've done this video a couple of times, so we're just going to save it as the... Super Soft N Production Assistant Portrait, right on our desktop, easy to find. And now, once, even though we've saved it there, we still need to click this OK button to create that droplet. So we've clicked OK, and now if I come into my desktop, you can see that there is that droplet that has been created, uh, and we're going to take that, and in our Export Actions, we're going to take that droplet copy or drag it into there. Now that droplet, uh, actually, what I should have done, hit my Option key on the Mac, Alt on the PC, drag that in, takes a copy of the droplet, puts it in there, it's all set to go. So now in our Export Actions, we have an option there. We can go back to Photoshop, and if we want, go File, Automate, Create Droplet, Everything's the same. Let's go super soft plus one. It's all set. Everything's the same here. Just choose again. And instead of the N, we just do 
plus one. We save that. And again, we click OK. And now we have that additional process that we can just take that, drag it in, and this is how we can build a whole series of workflows that we'll make use of. Uh, so now we've brought these into the Lightroom, export actions, and now you'll see how that comes into play.